Beyond automating their existing manual processes, most customers look to Parabola to actually improve processes and begin leveraging AI in the process. We've already discussed a few places in Parabola where we inject AI, such as parsing PDF documents and automatically configuring your step settings for you. And we also have a suite of AI transformation steps that you can use in your workflow as well. The first of those steps is our categorize with AI step, which will go line by line and assign different rows into custom categories that you set up. In this case, in the middle of the screen, we can see vegetables, fruits, and dairies. The second example I'll call out is our extract with AI step that can take unstructured text, analyze it, and turn it into really nice structured data. So imagine you have a cell that has a really messy date value, and you want to turn that into a nice structured city, state, and zip code. The third step I'll discuss is the standardize with AI step that is really good at looking at all the different variations of a specific word that you have in your data set and making sure that all of those are nice and consistent. So imagine you have DHL expedited, DHL express, DHL. You can make those all nice and standardized in your data set so it's really easy to use those values downstream in your workflow. Finally, we have the experiment with AI step, which you can almost think about as prompting ChatGPT in your workflow to do some really interesting things there as well. We are working on deploying more and more AI steps as we go, so just search AI in the search bar to see which different steps we have available today. In this example, I wanna focus on the categorize with AI step. And in this example, you can see we have this product title column here, and I actually wanna go line by line and put each and every one of these into a product category. In this case, we'll go with pants, tops, hats, and then I'll also include another category. As I hit update results, we are going line by line, passing that information to OpenAI large language models, and we're getting back the category that each one of those products belongs to, which we can see here on the right-hand side. You'll see we have our tops, our pants. As I keep scrolling, we'll see we have other here as well. And if I scroll over, we'll see that those are actually our running socks here. Now let's say I wanted to add some more custom prompting, if you will, to this step. As I scroll down on the left-hand side, you'll see a fine-tuning section that allows us to give more context to the large language model. If, for instance, we wanna have some special classification for a certain product, we can include a whole lot of context here. Give this step a try in the building challenge below and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.